Did you know that modern aviation has transformed the way aircraft navigate from one airport to the another? The conventional navigation is based on ground-based aids that includes the NDB, which limit the routes and procedures to their physical locations. Aircraft wish to fly straight from airport 1 to airport 2. The main source of navigation is VAR. The range of VAR ground aids is 250 nautical miles. If the two airports are outside the coverage of VAR, we need to install multiple VAR on ground for seamless navigation from one to another and likewise up to destination airport. Sometimes due to water bodies, VAR cannot be placed and we need to install an en route VAR. Thus, aircraft will navigate from departure station VAR to en route VAR and thereafter to the destination station VAR. Now in this case aircraft has to travel more, resulting in higher fuel costs to the airline and high airfares to the passengers. So we have a fair idea that in earlier days aircraft used ground-based navigation system. The lines connecting two such radio navigation aids is called airway. Aircraft fly at the altitude specified by flight direction, eastbound or westbound, right above the airways guided by the information, distance, direction, obtained from the radio navigation aids. Today, we will delve into the world of area navigation, or RNAV, and discover how it has revolutionized air travel. In RNAV, aircraft navigate using waypoints, imaginary points in space that define the flight path. Use of area navigation started in the 1970s. Area navigation is enabled through the use of a navigation computer, FMS. Waypoints are input into the computer with an integrated database. The flight crew then creates a route as a series of waypoints in accordance with the flight plan. The computer estimates the aircraft position using the fitted navigation sensors and compares the estimation to the defined route. Area navigation offers numerous advantages, including shorter flight routes, reduced fuel costs, and increased airspace efficiency. For instance, Airlines can save millions annually by flying more direct routes with the help of area navigation, by flying direct routes between any two waypoints. Waypoint is a predetermined geographical position that is defined in terms of latitude. Longitude coordinates, now we will understand two types of waypoints. Fly by waypoint, aircraft before reaching the waypoint will commence a turn. Distance from the start of turn up to a beam the waypoint is distance of turn anticipation. Distance from a beam the waypoint to the track interception is known as minimum stabilization. Distance. Fly over waypoint. Aircraft will fly over the waypoint and then commence a turn to join next route segment. A minimum distance after turn to track is known as minimum stabilization distance. Area routes are normally depicted in blue on aeronautical charts and are identified by the letter Lima Mike, November, Papa, followed by the airway number. These routes are area navigation route and also part of the regional networks of ATS routes, most preferred routes by international airlines. The other RNAV routes starts with designators Quebec, Tango, Yankee, Zulu. These routes are area navigation route, but they do not form part of the regional networks of ATS routes. Navigation aid infrastructure is established for supporting air navigation. These are achieved by three means. First, by ground-based radio navigation aids VOR, or DME, proving homing and range information. Second, by space-based aid global navigation satellite system, which provides accurate position information to the aircraft. Third, by aircraft on board aids, like inertial navigation system, which is capable of determining position itself without the need for external references. The flight management system for navigation aid data storage and computation. Area navigation is a navigation system which permits aircraft operation on any desired flight path within the coverage of station reference navigation aids or within the limits of the capability of self-contained aids or a combination of these. RNAV comes in various flavors, including 2D, 3D, and 4D, each enhancing navigation capabilities in different ways. Two-dimensional area navigation system provides navigation in horizontal plane. Three-dimensional area navigation system provides navigation in horizontal plane and has a guidance capability in the vertical plane. Four-dimensional area navigation system provides navigation in the horizontal plane 
has a guidance capability in the vertical plane and has a timing function. Let's understand performance-based navigation. It is area navigation plus specific performance requirements. The three main pillars that make up performance-based navigation are Navigation specification. What is our required navigation performance? How accurate do we need to navigate? Navigation application. What kind of procedure can actually be flown? Finally, navigation infrastructure. Are we using satellites, ground beacons, or even other systems to aid our navigation? Required navigation performance. Is a navigation specification used in aviation to define the accuracy, continuity, availability, and integrity requirements for a specific phase of flight or airspace, allowing aircraft to navigate with a high level of precision and safety, particularly in critical phases of flight or in complex airspace. These specifications are crucial for modern aviation, enabling more efficient and predictable flight operations. Accuracy refers to how closely the aircraft's actual position must match its intended position. Continuity refers to the ability of the navigation system to maintain the required level of performance without interruption. It ensures that the navigation system remains reliable and accurate throughout the entire flight or within a specific airspace. Availability is a measure of how often the required level of performance can be achieved. It indicates the percentage of time the navigation system is expected to meet the specified accuracy and integrity requirements. High availability is essential for safe and efficient navigation. Integrity refers to the trustworthiness of the navigation system. It ensures that if the navigation system provides information to the flight crew, that information is reliable and accurate. RNAV specifications like RNAV5 and RNAV1 ensure specific performance standards for navigation and they don't need onboard performance monitoring and alerting. Specific approvals are required for RNAV operations, ensuring safety and adherence to standards. RNAV specifications ensure specific performance standards for navigation and they don't need onboard performance monitoring and alerting RNAV5 also known as BRNAV. It is defined as RNAV that meets a track keeping accuracy equal to or better than plus minus 5 nautical miles for 95% of the flight time. RNAV1 also known as PRNAV. It is defined as RNAV that meets a track keeping accuracy equal to or better than plus minus 1 nautical miles for 95% of the flight time. Specific approvals are required for RNAV operations, ensuring safety and adherence to standards. RNAV-10 are used for oceanic and remote navigation application, whereas RNAV-5, RNAV-2, and RNAV-1 are used for en route and terminal application. RNAV-10, the 10 means that the aircraft flying that specific procedure or route must stay accurately on track with a 10-mile accuracy 95% of the flight time. So the smaller the number, the more accurate your aircraft equipment needs to be to fly said procedure. Suppose we have a route from A to B. This we call the desired path. This is the published path. As we all are aware, nothing is perfect in this world. When we create and publish the actual route on a chart, there will always be a little error between the desired path and the defined path on the chart to be used by pilots due to technical inaccuracies. The difference between the two is called the path definition error. The next inaccuracy will be due to the fact that the aircraft will have to be controlled by human or the autopilot, which is going to present something called the flight technical error. It is the difference between our estimated position and the defined path. The next error is the navigation system error. This is the difference between where the aircraft thinks it is which is estimated position and where it actually is, true position. The numbers behind RNAV refer to the allowed difference between our desired path and our true position and is called the total system error or lateral navigation accuracy. RNP-10 versus RNAV-10, both have the same accuracy requirement, but RNP-10 requires a navigation system on board that can check itself for accuracy and integrity. RNAV-10 requires the navigation to be accurate by 10 miles whereas RNAV-5 is more stringent which requires the navigation to be accurate by 5 miles for 95% of the flight time.
neither require systems that can check itself for accuracy or integrity. Area navigation has transformed aviation by enabling more efficient, cost-effective, and safer air travel as aviation enthusiasts. Let's embrace the future of navigation and its ever-evolving possibilities.